It's you enjoy, very, very different. You enjoy the guaranteed setups compared to Ultim's. <laughs> yes. Um, I, don't know. I think he comes comes up high for his recovery often. Given I was scared out of that by Darkos. Ah, he would punish your high get up. He would always punish my high get up with Yoshi, so I'm much more careful with him now. Yoshi is one of those characters that forces you to go low, and then it's still terrifying. Yes. But because right now, if you go high against Yoshi, you'll always. Right now, we've got Toon Link and Park. Toon Link has both an advantage and a disadvantage against Park, kind of like the Link Park matchup in Melee, in which Park's sword is just bigger, but Link has his projectiles to deal with Park's pressure. Yes. He got the bomb, but it wasn't quite enough for him to get that. Um, oh, oh, the counter. He just uses the opportunity to pull out a bomb instead of trying to hit the up smash. Yes. I noticed that a lot. Ooh, I think the up air would have hit him there. I think Boy just likes down air. It's not quite melee level down air on Young Link. Oh no! He got scared away. He got scared away from the ledge and he falls. That's that's something that happens also quite a lot. Finish, but being scared is probably one of the worst things to do on ledge. Yes. But sometimes it's necessary. Other times it just doesn't work out. It looks like you probably underestimated just how much aerial mobility he needs after his upbeat. I'm not sure what's happening. Blood's looking a little flustered compared to- Oh no, get up! <sighs> he made it out. He made it out. Okay. Uh, he has a lot of damage and Ultum's stock behind. Ultum's on his first stock. Yeah, you're gonna have to be careful. Even though Rage... Ooh, the side smash. Right there. Oh, he waited there. it! He waited out the counter and he gets the kill. Like it's swing, a forward smash, three rolls. Yes. Go. Definitely have to be careful with the Oh, he, I, I think he knew it was coming. Yes. He knew it was coming. Down Very precise with counter. It's something that you have to learn how to avoid. Mark looking happy on there. Yes. Alright, so, Toon Link. Not projectile game as much as I think he You know, um, against Marth, where Marth sort of suffers from bad projectile game. How are his approach options against projectiles? Um, um basically avoid them. Or that's not, fast, avoid him. That's not a good approach option, though. No. It's very tricky. I can tell you, with large projectiles, it's easy to side B against them. He, his side B, for some reason, is very good at stopping projectiles. Like Corrin. I have, I'm, have a very successful time stopping Corrin's projectiles with side B. Uh -huh. But Moon Link's arrows that are small and hard to see... I haven't given it much effort, but I had a much harder time. I see. Mars does not have as many tools as other characters to deal with side or with port or with neutral B. Yes. Or with bombs. But but the bombs, oh. luckily, um, if your projectile game in general is all right, you can catch the immediate throwback, and he has good follow-ups. Yes. I actually didn't know that. Um, well, if you suppose that your opponent won't attack, and you can get the down air all right, the mark can boom like bomb into down air and up. Okay. If you're seeing this, then you'll notice Floyd is spacing himself to be counter with the second hit of forward smash. If he is, if all of them had forward, he could have got a side smash. But he gets that smash there, and Link takes it. Ah. Yes. The walk in the part is testing, and requires very a lot of precision to get it. Oh, look at look at that! He's not scared. He just throws arrow. No. That certainly has to play. Soon Link can't bother to be scared. Okay, so he uses the bomb to cover his down aerial landing. Yes. He's just baiting out counter now. I think he knows it's coming. Boy, they started to adapt pretty well. Ultra. Many, many counters, but he rolls into Ooh. the side smash. It was a weak hit side smash, so he's okay. Also, oh, oh no! Dolphin Slash, not enough to get back. The reverse was not quite reaching because the reverse doesn't reach quite as high. Oh, that's usually the other way around, isn't it? Orth has a strange thing where he gets a little bit of momentum out of his up B. You can grab further than he's be able to. I see. But the momentum takes him away from the edge when he's reversed. 
Um, well, not exactly. It's just that he doesn't get that extra grab ring. Whereas normally he can grab even further in front of him where he'll end up. Backwards, he doesn't get any of that. He needs to be on the ledge. All right. I believe if you push yourself a little bit away, you can grab further. But if you're underneath it, there's not much. I see. Okay, so... It's... Altum's pick. Boyd and Altum both sitting on getting eliminated from the tournament very early. Thank you. Three, Duck Hunt. Two, oh, five. One, Good side that, that means we're looking for forward smash. Yes. We are looking for forward smash. He really wants kills. He missed his punish up. I feel like Boyd will be abusing... Well, both students will be abusing the low sides as well. Yes. Because it's also a larger stage, which means it's pure for... Think to projectiles, but he's not oh. taking advantage right now. He's rolling a lot, but he's not going for up tilt rolls. Oh, that was a good he grab, but he blew up it. Arrow into boomerang into grab, which is really cool. He only got too many box. down airs, I think. Using the wind box to space himself. Yes. Doing a really good job with the projectiles. Yes. I Although, no bombs. No, not many bombs also. Now, kind of keeping all time projectiles, but not using them often. He's fishing with these forest fishes. Goes for the down throw, gets countered on the follow-up, because there's no true follow-up for Coop 2 Link out of shield. Or out of throw. Sorry. Finally, a bomb gets pulled from Floyd. Immediately throws it. I was expecting to the bomb. Is he dropping it? Is it a straw? Or do you think it's do you want to be jump cancel throwing it most? True, but um... Okay, what was, what was that? What was, was that? Was a side tilt? tilt's fairly... Hit for Nair. Okay. Oh, okay. Nair is quite strong. Yes, it is. Um, in fact, second hit, Nair can kill it as long as you're close to get. Fair There's Tipper Fair. Fair will kill. Tipper Fair kills fairly early. I actually. feel... Not I as early as Tipper Bag here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. um... The other day, I was playing Marth against Spidey's Corrin, and I killed him from the opposite side of FD at 120 or so with a tipper fresh backer. Oh. It kills extremely early for some odd reason. Oh, up smash. That's good. Yeah. I feel like the stage would be a little bit better if it could even be a starter without the press. Yes. I don't know. I, li I like the idea. I don't know about advantages for characters, though. Reed, the smash, covers the getup pretty well. I was surprised. Using projectiles to prevent Marth from throwing up those long range shield breakers. Actually, when I think about it, Bayonetta and Korn's very, uh, fairly... They have a good advantage in that grass, because there's a lot of things they can throw out you can't see. Yeah. Well, like, I don't. That's Corrin side smashes, yes. Because Corrin side smash has a very obvious animation to it. If you can't see him or her in the grass, then it's a little tough to see like what exactly is coming at you. That's true. I mean, you would. It's glowing in blue. Forward smash will kill. Ooh. And Floyd is out of this turn, and Ulta moves on and loses bracket. Yes. And it wasn't- it didn't look like it took the best smash. So... Maybe he was just that high damage and the charge is enough? Yeah. It's enough. Ulta has won. Two-one set, really, relatively close. Yes. Closer than most of the matches we've seen.